Welcome back to Grub Gates. And again, today we're going to be talking about pool. Why? Because it's one of my favorite things to do. That's why. Pool, more importantly, we're going to be talking about breaking today. Because every game of pool starts with a break. Somebody has to make that first shot. We're going to look at a couple different variants. Uh, First, we're going to look at a house cue. This is a C-17 21 ounce Valley Supreme house cue. This is what comes with most Valley tables. Okay, It's all one piece. It's nicely weighted. I have no reason to doubt it's 21 ounce. It's got a nice heft to it. Uh, definitely heavy in the back. We're going to look at how this breaks and how it sounds. Uh, the tip on this cue is I would say medium at best. Aside from that, we will look at one of my favorite cues, the heavy hitter uh, 25 ounce rage break jump cue. 25 ounces, three piece cue with a phenolic tip. Incredibly hard. And then we will also be looking at a uh, Q from Elite Qs, their quote-unquote band Q, the 27 ounce two-piece break Q from Elite, which as you can see has a very unique look to it with that hard Q tip. Um, also kind of nice is that they went a little old school with the threading so you're not at you don't have a metal joint you have a wood joint that is threads are actually carved into it uh, I can safely say that of the three cues we have on the table this one has the most unique feel to it uh, for a two-piece cue it feels very much like a one piece when it hits but it has so much authority because of the weight behind it and of how little deflection there is in the shaft. I mean, I can sit here and I can push on it with my fingers and it's very, very taut. Not a lot of deflection available. So these are going to be three cues that we look at today and we're going to look at how they hit and how they break. All right? Now, each of these cues is a little bit variant in price range. I mean, this is a standard house cue, which you're going to get with a table if you buy a table. Or usually you can buy these for relatively cheap, about $20 for four. All right. These go anywhere between $75 to as much as $110 and are great value for what you get. Uh, especially if you can learn how to play with one adequately. And these right here average about $110. Uh, I haven't seen them go for more, though they are getting harder to find. Uh, you can still find them relatively easy online, but you don't find them in a lot of pool shops. Now then, let's get down to showing how these bad boys break. All right, so first we are going to break with the 21 ounce Valley Supreme. We have a eight ball rack set up. And we're just gonna hit straight on. We're not gonna bother with a side shot or anything like that. Now, I like to set my cue ball further back so I can get a good grip here on the table. And there you are. All right, so there you see it. That's a break with a Valley Supreme. Hopefully you guys could heard the sound from when it impacted. All right, cue number two. The Rage Heavy Hitter Break Jump Cue, 25 ounces. Let's see how we go with this one. Again, same shot, cue ball still drawn back. And straight to the rack. Alright, and again, hopefully it picked up the sound difference. Right. And now, we look at the Elite Q. The Elite 27 ounce break Q, the band Q as they call it. 
Well, a couple things I want to point out about this queue is first of all, for $110, which I seem to be the average price for this, you get an incredible amount of quality. Irish linen wrap is very nicely done. It's very tight. It, you know, it, it has a good feel to it, good quality to it. The steel on it is very nicely polished, very heavy, not cheaply plated. You know, you could feel when they're cheaply plated and they get, they're going to chip. This is not the case with this. Nice heavy rubber on the rear, and the shaft itself is very nice, as I showed you earlier with the wood threads. Beautiful piece. Let's see how this one does. Same shot. Alright, so we're going to now take a look at the valet cue and see if we can capture how much deflection in the shaft there is when it hits. Now we're going to look at the Rage Heavy Brake Jump Cube, 25 ounces with a phenolic tip. Alright, now we look at the Elite Band Q, the 27 ounce. Alright, so now we're going to look at power transfer. How much transfer can we make this cue put into the ball going back and forth across the table? Now we're going to determine that because I don't have any equipment to measure speed or anything by going one rail, two rails, three rails, four rails, and maybe more depending on how much power we're able to transfer from the cue stroke into the cue ball. All right, first up, Valley Supreme, 21 ounce. Four rails, not bad. Next, 25 ounce Rage Heavy Hitter Jump Brake Cue or Brake Jump Cue. Also, four rails and a significant further rollout. Our valley stopped approximately here, well before getting out of the pocket line 
whereas of our other came up and almost reached our next diamond. And lastly, the Elite Band Q, 27 ounces. Now, I'm not 100% on why they call it the Band Q. That could very well just be marketing, or it could be the fact that some leagues have an actual weight limit on Qs uh, that cuts off at 25 ounces. We're actually going to give this one more shot. Uh, I feel like I pulled up on that. Four. All right. So it died out on four. Don't drop your cues. So we died out on four. That uh, was a little surprising. You would think that it would have done better, being the most expensive of the three, but it did not. Now, a big part of this wasn't necessarily to say, look, you need to buy an expensive cue if you want to play well, because that's not true at all. It's actually one of the things I like about pool is that you don't need very expensive equipment to play well. You need practice to play well. Uh, there is no cheating practice at pool. Okay, You can have the fanciest pool cue in the world. You can buy a $2,000 pool cue and it's not going to make you any better a player than an $80 cue will. It comes down to you as the individual. The shooter makes the difference. And I hope that these tests kind of showed you that a little bit. Now, if you look at our tests here in review, you're going to see that the Valley Supreme had the most movement in the queue, okay? Uh, it hands down had the least uh, rigidity of the three, despite the fact that it is a one-piece queue. It had the most wobble, okay? Uh, it had a decent amount of power transfer, but it came in second place in the power transfer. All right. Now, that last test of the power transfer has lots of variables that can be uh, done again and again and again. But this cue still held its own. Uh, of the three, I would still rate it third. Overall, the feel of this cue is not as good as the others. And while it's still a premium queue, and I think that if this is what you can afford or if this is what they have available to you, there's nothing wrong with playing with a house queue like this. I want to emphasize that a whole lot. You can see here against queues far more expensive than itself, it did just fine on breaking. Okay? Now, the Rage Heavy Jump Break Queue. I'm going to say is our number one contender in this. It came in first. Not only uh, did, it did it should demonstrate a good break, but when you look at it in the rigidity test we did, or the deflection test, you'll see that it came in second in deflection. It had just a little more flex in it than our Elite Q did. Okay, But this also had a little bit of a longer stroke. That being said, it came in second place for its deflection and rigidity, but its power transfer was definitely superior having the longer stroke to the cue, and I think that has a lot to do with the way it's tapered. All right, It transferred its power and came in. I think that for the money especially, it, this is a good addition. Uh, when you throw into the fact that it also doubles as a jump cue, it really doesn't get better value than this. Now, as for our Elite 27 ounce band cue, uh, this is a cue that assuming that you're playing in a league where 27 ounces isn't in fact uh, against the rules, this is a cue I'd keep in my pullback. I actually like this cue. I like the way it feels. Uh, I definitely like the way it hits. 
of the three, it is the most comfortable in the hand for hitting. You don't feel any of the impact in this cube, be it had a good thing or a bad thing based off of performance. It has a shorter stroke due to the taper in it, but it has a good break. It makes a good sound when it hits. You don't feel any of the vibration down into your hand, uh, which you'd think, and especially when you saw the deflection on this thing, it did not move. It did not flex anywhere compared to the others. But its power transfer just isn't there. Uh, I think the, that extra two ounces just seems to be where you reach the threshold of extra weight adding extra power versus diminished returns. And I think you're at that point of diminished returns after 25 ounces. Uh, it really didn't have as much power transfer as I would have, well, well, as you would hope from something this heavy. That being said, I don't see any downside to it. Is it a Q that I wouldn't buy? No, it's a Q I would definitely buy again if I didn't already have one. It's a Q that I think has a lot of potential to it, and it's a lot of fun. It's also nice just to have something that's a little bit of an oddity uh, conversation piece, especially when you're meeting new people and you're, it's always good to have an icebreaker, and this will definitely break ice. So, would I use this as a, as a dedicated break cue? Yes. I had, I had nothing wrong with it. Uh, do you have to have something like this as a dedicated break cue? No, not by any means. Uh, house cue clearly did just as good a job. And again, that's the beauty of pool, is that you don't need expensive equipment to really play well. And that's kind of the point of this video. While things like this are nice and they're pretty and they feel good, it didn't actually give me any better return in the, in the long run versus a house queue. So all I could afford to have was a basic house queue, it would work. And remember, this cue is not a playing cue. This cue is not going to do well for actually playing and applying spin in English. So that's a downside to it. All right. That being said, all three of these cues are phenomenal cues. If you're out there and you're playing with house cues, play with a valley cue. If you're out there and you're looking to up your game and have a dedicated break cue, hey, grab yourself an elite break cue. If you want a break and jump cue in the same, then why not grab a heavy hitter from Rage? All right. Until next time, guys, stay hungry and make gains.